in uh, 2015, I had a baby and I went through a divorce in the same year. And uh, obviously having a baby sets anyone back from anything. Um, but then adding the extra side of a divorce was even worse. And um, it set me back pretty much a whole year. I took off from Young Living, um, doing anything with my business, just gathering my family and myself together. God put a lot of very special people in my life um, through Young Living and um, through going back into the classroom. And I remember very distinctly when I finally felt safe enough to come out to tell people I was divorced that I asked Andrea and Edge to come over and kind of just help me practically process through how to continue my business. Um, and to start over again. And um, my sponsor, who has become one of my best friends over the last five years, Kylie, she um, was a pivotal person during that time. And um, not just with the business, but more on a personal level, but I would have never known her without Young Living. One of the things that I have grown to really admire and love about Living Well Now and Young Living is the dedication that they put into growing authentic relationships with each other. Um, I, uh, coming out of that marriage, it was very difficult because I was isolated and it was a very long time period where I um, didn't have that community that I was so used to. And so it was nice to be able to, um, in like the two years that I, I was married and building the business to like low-key build friendships, but then when I needed somebody the most, um, so many of them stepped in. And um, I've seen this modeled time and time again, not just in the Living Well Now community, but in Young Living as well. And it's something that will continue to draw me back 